What's up, parties? Did you have a romantical Valentine yesterday? The veggie of the week is the one and only splendorific radish. If I had big boobs, that previous shot would have been considered inappropriate. Small boobs are G-rated, family-friendly, and high fashion. Last week, I made three statements, and you were to guess which of the three was a lie. Statement three is true. I did see a ghost squat on my chest. I woke up in the middle of the night and a yellow kid was doing the kimchi squat and covering my eyes like this. And when I say yellow kid, I have no idea if they're Asian or what. I'm not being racist. People always imagine ghosts being white or blue, or at least I used to think that. But I always end up seeing yellow ghosts, dressed in yellow and everything completely yellow. I saw this ghost a couple months ago during my sleep paralysis, so it was probably a hallucination. But I did see a yellow ghost before during the daytime. It was back in senior year of high school. My friend and I were walking back to class from the bathroom. About 30 feet in front of us, there is this man, completely yellow, dressed in a yellow t-shirt and shorts. He ran across the hallway. I asked my friend, did you see that? She's like, see what? I was like, the yellow man. She's like, what yellow man? I said, he ran behind the brick building. So while we're walking by, we look behind the building. There is no one there. A couple hours earlier that same day, another friend and I were walking to the bathroom at another school and we're walking in an open air part of the campus and all of a sudden I felt like something come right at my head, like from the sky and bam, like bam. I was like, whoa, where did that come from? I asked my friend, did you just hit me? She's like, no, what are you talking about? Seriously, did you hit me? She started laughing. Why are you laughing? If you didn't hit me, why are you laughing? She said I sounded crazy and she's laughing at me because I'm crazy. But I wasn't too freaked out because during that senior year of high school, I was averaging five hours or less of sleep every night. So I probably think it was all hallucinations. Moral of the story, no matter how much you need to study or finish your projects, please sleep. Unless you want to see some yellow people and get a surprise hit from the sky. Statement one is true. I can really keep my eyes open for more than five minutes. Do you need some evidence? Challenge accepted. Watch Ramona Champions Party Time number 12 for a staring contest. Statement two is also true, but it's not completely true. It's two thirds true. I did in fact audition for Wheel of Fortune and The Voice mm, about two years ago. A lot of people were bummed out they couldn't make it to the next round. Why so many tears? Don't let one failure define who you are. Because every fail is a valuable experience. 100 fails can give birth to one epic success. Failure and success doesn't exist. It's a concept we made in our mind. To some people, having a million dollars in the bank is a success. To other people, Making a contribution to the world is considered a success. So everyone's definition of success, as well as beauty, is different. By the way, I didn't audition for the American X Factor, but I was there for the first taping. Unhumble brag. Now let's answer some questions that our wonderful champions asked this week. What came first, the chicken or the egg? What came first was a unicorn. The unicorn ate something funny and it pooped out an egg. And when the egg hatched, it became a chicken. Why do people think I'm ugly? Because you're too beautiful to handle. They're just jealous, they can't admit that you're pretty. It's either that or they need new glasses. Their vision got so blurry that Everyone they see looks like a Picasso painting. Their eyes are like here, their mouth is here, it's all blurry. If you became a coconut, what would be the first thing you do? If I were a coconut, I would run away from anyone named Ramona Champion. I would put a restraining order on Ramona Champion. Why are you so pretty? It's because I ate my avocados. No, but seriously, there's something called makeup. This is random, but what are your favorite Bollywood songs? Question mark, period. That's a new type of grammar. All the hot girls put your hands up and say, Om Shanti Om. Dear Ramona, what's the point of being all healthy and veggie crazy? What's the point of raising and killing cows when it's bad for the environment and for our health? Did you know that eating meat increases your chances of getting cancer? I'm not trying to convert you or anything. I just want you to be conscious of what you're putting in your mouth. Can you do a makeup tutorial? 
get some long eyelashes. Apply your eyelashes on your eyelashes, like this. My right eye feels super heavy right now. Outline the shape of your eye and do it for the other side as well. Apply the light one under your eyebrow and all over. Now apply the brown eyeshadow on your eyelid. Get your red, red sizzling lipstick. Draw on a V shape and bring it down. And just get real juicy with the red. Don't forget to change into something that is more black and shiny. I can't show my armpit because it's super hairy right now. Put on your wig cap. I'm sexy and I know it. And then put on a wig. And there you have it. The post Valentine's Day makeover. If you could have a superpower, what would it be and why? I would have the superpower to either stop time or think three times as faster than anyone else. Do you have a boyfriend? Don't tell this to anyone, but I have a lot of boyfriends. Who said only guys can be players? This dude, Motorbreath0007, I remember that name. He comments on a lot of videos. I like you. And Granny Kim says hi. Hey, could you say a few words in French, please? S'il vous plaît? Hier soir, je dîné avec mon copain. C'était romantique. Jusque ce qu'une femme a conduit à notre table. Elle a giflé mon copain, puis a jeté une chaise et frappé ma dent. So I went to the bar and threw some alcohol at her. And there you have it. The Valentine's Day bar fight makeover. See you next Friday on the next Party Time with Ramona Champion. Until then, stay out of trouble and watch out for those ladies throwing chairs. And don't forget to ask me some questions in the comment section below. And in about an hour or two, you'll see my staring contest video uploaded on my channel. Man, I miss Fridayness. Every day is a Friday there, you know? Romana, you're really cool and all, but you have the stupidest video tittles. Mochujimayo, Shadow No Day, Mochin